Hello, this is Tell from Trifle Production with another uh, Blender quick tip. This is like the third time I've had to record this because the uh, other times I've recorded it, I had the sound turned off. So this is uh, the third time I've had to do this, this uh, tutorial. But yeah, this is still fine. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to uh, success successfully transport or transfer your textures from your Mac Human character into Blender Cycles. Uh, now the first thing that you have to do is just download uh, Make Human, which is a great program. I'll leave a description of, of the uh, pro of the link in the description. I'll leave a link of the description, or I will leave a link of the program in the description below this video. And uh, once you've opened it, you've downloaded it, you've opened it up. Um, what you want to do is add materials to your character. This is not a skin material. This is just uh, if you try to import it into Blender the way it is. With this uh, appearance, uh, nothing's going to show up because it's not a skin texture. So what you do is go to materials, and you're going to choose a skin texture from uh, the list to your right, the right of your screen. I'm going to pick the middle-aged African male. Click on that, and then the next thing you want to do is go to files, and then you want to uh, have the the uh, extension of the format be Make Human Exchange and MH. MHX2. Uh, as you can see, I've already saved this uh, to uh, my computer. But what you do after you've uh, chosen that extension is you click on the three little dots in the square. Click on that, and then you want you want to go to where uh, you want this file saved. I'm going to save it on my external hard drive, and I've made a file for this already. So I'm going to navigate to that. Uh, where there it is, make human. I've saved it already, but I'm going to just do it again. Let me delete all this, delete that, and delete that. Uh, and I'm going to save my character. Let's call him Todd or Toddy. And then click Save. And it's going to automatically export uh, your character with the textures into that folder that was just made. And then once you've done that in Blender, once you've opened up Blender, you want to make sure that you install the uh, .mhx2 uh, Make Human Exchange plugin in the Blender. And once you've downloaded Make Human, it should come in a package called Blender Tools within Make Human. And once you've navigated to that file, let me show you guys where it is on uh, when you download Make Human. I'm going to click on Make Human, then open up File Location. Okay, then there, there it is. Once, because this used to be uh, an external, uh, a separate uh, folder that you would download with Make Human, because you would download Make Human, and then you would download this file separately. But for some reason, they've included this file within uh, within Make Human. So once you've downloaded Make Human, make sure you double click on that, and then you'll see um, Make Walk, Make Target, Make Close. Oh, that's not even part of it. Okay, sorry about that. Just forget what I said about Blender tools. It's actually a, a separate add-on, and I'll put that plugin for the .mhx2 exchange in the description below also. But once you've done that, you've downloaded the uh, .mhx uh, Make Human Exchange uh, plugin. You click on File and go to User Preference. And then you go Install Add-on from File, and you navigate to where you stored. Uh, the exchange, the, blend, the Make Human Exchange plugin, and you click on Install Add On from File. And then once you've done that, make sure that once you uh, added that, uh, download that plugin, you put a checkbox or a check in the uh, box for that plugin, and that will activate it inside of Blender. And then once you've done that, this is very important. Make sure that you've changed your render engine from Blender into cycles render that's the most important thing uh, with this whole process and then you go to file import make human uh, image x2 that's the extension that you're looking for and you navigate to where you stored it on your computer so I've already done this process before it automatically put it in my recent in, in the recent list so I click on make human so click on toddy and import uh, that model and then let's make sure that it has been imported and we're going to change the shading in the viewport from the uh, 
that um, solid texture shading to material and there it is there's the uh, textures automatically applied to your character and the important thing also is make sure you do the same thing with the eyes and the teeth and the tongue make sure you apply the texture to those two those elements also within make human and I'm going to show you what will happen if you just you know import um, your model straight in the blender under the regular blender render engine because uh, this is for cycles only not for uh, the regular blend render engine so I wanted to delete all this stuff do that process again file import make human exchange go to the character in the recent uh, list here open that up and it imports the model but when you go to see if the textures have been applied you go to material and it's completely black because the make human exchange uh, plugin doesn't support the regular blender render engine it supports cycles only and then you would think well okay if it just supports cycles let me just switch straight to cycles and it will automatically show up the textures will automatically start show up so click on that and they don't show up you would have to go to the uh, the node editor and actually apply those textures yourself you know manually so in order to avoid that process as I said before once you've applied all your textures inside of make human make sure before you import them into blender through the uh, make human exchange make sure that your uh, render engine is switched from blender render engine to cycles render that's the important thing make sure that you do that before you import any models from make human into blender and that's my quick tip for today and I hope it helps someone and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.